Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's another week in Mexico, and with it comes two new vehicles for us to unlock this week. Number one is this, the Wuling Sunshine. Spoiler alert, the Wuling Sunshine has some incredible customization that I promise you will blow your mind. So that's what we're gonna be unlocking today. We have to get 25 points, but before we get into that, the Forzathon shop for the week, hello. Porsche 959, awesome vehicle, and the RJ Anderson vehicle. Not a terrible Forzathon, not a great Forzathon. It is what it is. And last but not least in the car pass is this, the Mazda 323 GTR. And this is what we're going to be unlocking tomorrow. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. I have a feeling it's going to be a super fast vehicle, but we'll find out tomorrow. I'm super excited to drive it around. Let's go get 25 points in the autumn season and unlock the Wuling Sunshine. The greatest car in Forza has officially been unlocked. Let's go. This is the 2013 Wuling Sunshine S. It's got a 1.2 liter engine, 84 horsepower, weighs less than 3,000 pounds, and yes, it's rear wheel drive. This is certainly something that I never expected to see in a Forza game, but say hello to the Wuling Sunshine. Why does the Wuling Sunshine sound good? Before we do any upgrades, I want to pain myself, drive this thing bone stock, and see what it can do. This wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about one of the slowest cars in Forza Horizon 5. For those of you who don't know, Wuling Sunshine. Wuling is a company in China that builds these mainly. They build like Chinese vans. They're basically like American vans, but smaller and shittier. Anyway, Wuling's been making this car for a couple of years, and this is actually the second generation of Wuling Sunshine. You know how for like most car companies, when they go in and they make a first generation and they make a second generation, they usually upgrade like the styling, the engine, they make it a little bit faster and so on. Not Wuling. I'm not even joking. On the second generation of Wuling Sunshine, you can now get seat belts in the rear. Yup, that's one of their big improvements. They also added an optional upgrade, like air conditioning. Don't worry though, ABS comes standard now. I'm gonna show you the coolest thing I've ever seen. Unique selling point, powerful engine of GM technology. Let's enjoy the Wuling Sunshine toughness and efficiency in motion. All right, moving on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here's the spec sheet. Uh, it has drum brake, ABS, with. It has power windows, without. Two speakers, with. Three point seat belt, with. Driver's seat belt reminder, with. Ferrari, Lamborghini, Aston Martin, Rolls Royce, Ford. Watch out, because the Wuling Sunshine is coming to you. Uh, maybe. O on a serious note, the Wuling Sunshine is the third best-selling car in the world. Not a joke. They sold nearly a million of these things in one year. Anyways, I'm so happy with my Wuling Sunshine. I'm just gonna, um... Back out. Sorry, I got so bored driving that I needed to quit. Are you ready to see the greatest thing you've ever seen in a Forza game? The Wuling Sunshine has a body kit. Did you know that you can wide body the Wuling Sunshine? That's what I'm talking about. That's the most stupid thing I've ever seen in my life. Isn't that what you dreamed to drive when you bought Forza Horizon 5? Anyways, we do have some engine swaps. So we've got our 1.2 liter, 84 horsepower engine, which actually Actually sounds good. A 6.2 liter V8, a turbo rally engine, a 7.2 liter V8. Oh yes, that has 850 horsepower and a 2JZ. Like I said, this is the greatest car ever in Forza Horizon 5, and I think you can now see why. Maybe we should actually make this into a E-Class road racer to start. We are rear-wheel drive. We can make it all-wheel drive, but 
if we're gonna be a class i don't think we actually need that anyways we can do some arrow stuff to this we can get a big old ri oh my god Yup. Who needs McLarens, Lamborghinis, Ferraris when you have this? Anyways, we definitely need some upgraded tires. Let's go for sport tires. We do have 800 horsepower. You know what? Maybe semi-slick. Tire size is a 175 bone stock. We can get that up to a 275. Okay, maybe in the front, let's run 235s. And then in the rear, that's where we're gonna want some thick boys. 295s. <laughs> This is what peak performance looks like. Exactly. We definitely need some brakes because I don't want to drive around on drum brakes. Let's upgrade to these. We can get some suspension, lower it down. That's sport stanced minivan. We're going to run race suspension for right now. We'll come back to that drift suspension. Anti-roll bars. Yes, please. In the front and the rear. Very good. I think instead of doing that, though, I'm actually going to go for the fully upgraded brakes make it S1 in class, and then hopefully bring that class limit down with some bigger rims. Bigger rims. Wh huh? Is there any rubber on that? I didn't expect to do it, but I'm gonna do it. Super deep dish rotiforms. That's the play. After all of our upgrades, we now weigh a little bit more because of our fantastic wide body, 3,100 pounds. We, we've got a little bit more horsepower, though. And we've got some better tires, better grip. I, I mean, when I say better tires, we're actually driving on rims. But, you know, somebody in Twitch chat says they're not semi-slick tires. They're semi-slick rims. Last but not least, before we get back onto the open road, colors. Yo, look at those colors. They actually look pretty good. The white looks sick, actually. I kind of like the school bus yellow. Twitch chat reminded me I forgot the number one thing. A carbon fiber hood. How could I forget that? Let's go. We're racing against some pretty quick things here. Jaguar, bone shaker, boat. I made a drift car. I made a drift car. I made a drift car. I didn't make a drift car. Use those big tires properly. Whoa, it corners flat. I'm gaining. I'm gaining. I'm gaining. Gaining. The rear wing is keeping me planted. This is not good. We're in second to last, and there's only 50% of this race to go. Go, 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 Wooling. Go, Wooling! Let's go, Sunshine! Wait, that actually... I can actually say Sunshine and it makes sense! Go! Go, Sunshine! Up the inside! Look at it, it's a racing beast. This is it best car? Best car. Nailed it. Up the inside. Nissan, who needs one of them? Chinese cars are better than Japanese cars. Everyone knows that. Audi RS6. Nope, you don't need one of them. That's a Jeep. Nope, don't need one of them. Like I said, there is no better vehicle than this in a Forza game. I don't possibly know how we could have done better there. I think it's clear to everybody that the Wuling Sunshine is fast and competitive. I don't know what you're talking about, scams. That's incredible. I see some people in Twitch chat asking me to turn this thing into an off-road minivan. If we're gonna go off-road, we definitely want some all-wheel drive. There we go, looking good. I feel like an S1 class Wuling Sunshine would be fun. So maybe let's go with the 7.2 liter V8. I think that'll be good. Then let's twin turbo that engine. We're definitely gonna want some off-road tires. By that I mean off-road rims um, that actually clips through the fender. For our A-class build, we couldn't go with any weight reduction. This one we can. That is a sub 3,000 pound Wooling, okay? We can max out a Wooling sunshine for off-roading. So now, after all of our upgrades, 1,350 horsepower. 2,900 pounds, all built to go off-road. See, I am Ken Block's support vehicle. Somebody says in Twitch chat, looks like the new Jim Gymkhana video had some serious budget cuts. <laughs> Let's go. Wooling sunshine into the off-road race we go. Yo, this thing is fast. This thing, whoa, whoa, crazy fast. And then you get it off-road. Those tires start to grip up. Who needs a Ford Transit minivan? Whoa, it actually drives well. Come on, Wooling. Show the Americans how to build a van. 
That has not... Edit, edit. There's a slight problem with the suspension setup. Wuling is a great vehicle with no obvious flaws and definitely not dangerous for you and your family. It's not like that happens very often. Let's be honest, freak accidents happen to every vehicle. See, I told you, even the American vans roll over sometimes. I told you, it's not just a Wuling thing. Who needs an Audi S1 Quattro? This is better. See, nothing to see. Wooling sunshine once again, top of the leaderboards. That is a brilliant vehicle. I think this can do everything. I think it can. Could this thing do a wheelie? No goddamn way. The Wuling is the greatest vehicle in this game. Twitch chat, I'm gonna let you guys choose if we are gonna go and drift the Wuling. Rear wheel drive or all wheel drive? All right, a lot of Twitch chat wants me to go rear wheel drive drift car with the Wuling. Okay, two Jay-Z, that's obvious choice. We're obviously gonna need that wide body, thank you. Uh, rear wing, we don't need a rear wing for this. Tire compound, let's go drift tires, sure. Drift suspension. That is an actually stanced minivan. We have 1,200 horsepower. We don't weigh very much. This should be one hell of a drift car. Top speed, 35 miles an hour. What is this Wuling slander from Forza Horizon 5? This is gonna be able to set one amazing score off to the volcano. 1.1 million, very nearly, is my personal best. I don't really expect the Wuling to do very well. It's kind of just here more as a participation medal, but we'll give it a go anyways, just because it's a fun car to drive and send it down the vault. Yo, it actually drifts quite well. Yo, it actually drifts really well. It's able to hold a line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's actually good score. Whoa, that's actually really good score. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. This is not happening. We're not doing bad. 270,000 at the three mile mark. That's not bad. 500,000 points already. Keep it going, Wuling. I, I cannot believe that this is actually happening. We've got a half, one and a half miles left to go. And we're on 600,000 points. It's actually working. 800,000. Yo, no way. No way. It's actually working really well. No way. Get a mil. Get a mil. Get a mil. 20,000. 10,000. 1 million. One million drift score for the Wu- No way. For the Wuling. It kind of bottled at the end, but <laughs> I'll take it. One million drift score. This is actually a really good car in this game. It's actually good at kind of everything. It can race. It's got a wide body kit. It's got an awesome selection of engine swap. It's almost like Forza knew that we wouldn't like this car. So they gave it all of the possibility to make it really good. And it is. Does anybody know if you can buy a Wuling in Canada? Asking for a friend. <laughs>